whale shark feeling? I got a whale shark. I got at least a black tip reef shark feeling. New no Dubrecht feeling. Well, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Kinabalu, Malaysia. We are sitting here just having breakfast right now, or about to have breakfast anyway. We're gonna go do some diving today. Kota Kinabalu is not one of the biggest hot spots for diving, but it is the jumping off point for a place called Sipadon, which is, uh, which is some of the most famous diving in the world. We're not gonna do Sipadon today. We're gonna do the area around Kota Kinabalu with a dive shop that we were at yesterday. We are going to have breakfast here first, and it looks like it just arrived, and then we're gonna make our way over to the dive shop and get ready for a day of diving. Mmm, the breakfast is so good. It's called the Tuaran Mi, and it's from the Kedai Coffee Sang King. So it's Tuaran Mi Sang King Coffee Shop. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. Happy tummy for a happy day of diving. <laughs> yeah, we didn't want to take a chance on them having nothing. We've been told we're getting food before we want to dive, and we never have, although I think we are going to get lunch on this one. Right, but, but not breakfast. Just so. to be sure, we filled up on noodles. So good. It's a good start for sure. Yep. We made it here in Jesselton Point and this is basically a busy port. This is where you can catch any of the ferries, go to different islands and different areas of Sabah and etc. In the morning time, uh, everybody's coming here just to have their excursion date started and you can get some breakfast, you can enjoy the view of the port. But it is going to be a good diving day, so I'm looking forward to it. Safety first. No. <laughs> A proper covered up boat. Yeah. <laughs> Airplane mode, diving for the day. Good. We're leaving. It's a bit cloudy today, but hopefully it's not gonna rain or maybe clear up a little bit so that the water uh, can be clear, but no complaints so far. And now we're just picking up a few more people from this resort and we're gonna off to our first dive site. Hello! It feels really great to be back in the water again. Almost immediately, our first dive got very interesting very quickly, and we got greeted by these floating creatures. Are these some kind of fish eggs? Of course, they shouldn't be confused with jellyfish or just jellies that can also be found here. This seems to be a very healthy coral reef with plenty of animals to see. There's lots of corals, hiding sea urchins, sea stars, and several shy giant clams. But this swimming feather star is probably the highlight of our dive so far. Isn't it pretty? Soon enough, Hala found his first nudibranch. These are tiny sea slugs that are scattered around the area. They're colorful, some are black and white, but they're all uniquely decorated and we get busy scouring the seafloor to search for them. As they say, there are plenty of fish in the sea, 
like this shy but confident porcupine fish. This is a trumpet fish and a juvenile batfish. And of course, some clownfish in their anemone home. If that's Nemo, then I'm sure you can find his friend Gil too. Like right here, here he is. And what is this thing? A sea cucumber. We really enjoyed our first dive, as you can see. And as we waited for our safety stop, we found this big school of goatfish that swam in unison. I'm trying to join them, but they probably don't think I fit into this school. It was a great first dive, and if this is the first dive, everything else will be a disappointment from here. <laughs> we'll see a whale shark towards the end. Yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> That'd be great though. It's a little bit cold towards the end, but at the end, it's a good dive. It is a good dive. So pretty out here. Where's everybody? <laughs> <laughs> As we descended, we got hit by a huge thermocline. That's a big drop of temperature at a level when we dive deeper. Just like the first dive, there were beautiful jellies to watch out for. They're best to avoid, as pretty as they are. We found this lionfish, and we decided to stick around with him for just a little bit. He invited us back to his home inside this barrel coral, and we saw a few of his housemates too. Don't you just love these huge barrel corals? They're very healthy, and lots of other animals like to hang out both inside and outside of them. Like this guy. Whoops. And of course, we were very happy that we found several nudibranchs on this dive too. Look at this guy, flashing his beauty for us to see. And what's a healthy reef without anemones and their swaying clownfish friends? So camera shy. Check out these sea urchins too. And the scorpion fish. He's just chilling. The highlight of the dive for us was this big sea turtle with a really weirdly shaped shell. He was just sitting there and he didn't even bother to acknowledge us divers, but we were really curious about him. And it's time to go up again. Absolutely delightful dive. Yeah, no, no, this time it was bad. But I get to I'm really enjoying these dives. A little bit cold down there though. Yeah. About, I think it's about 24 degrees. I think we're heading back into Cochin Kinabalu to have a little lunch. So, Paul and I are going to look for some Indonesian food on the dock, but we probably won't find it. <laughs> Lunchtime, and we are actually going to the Pantai Kecil, I think this is called, the Pulau Kecil. It's not in the uh, Kota Kinabalu. Lunch is waiting for us, so we're gonna go ahead and have our feast. Food. Food. No public nudity. Oh, boo. I thought that's what this was for. Michael's so ready to be one of them. <laughs> I'm so ready to get naked. <laughs> it's called the Mamutik Island. Not sure what that means, but it's Mamutik Island. You don't know what Mamutik means? Mamutik? I'm gonna get the chicken mushroom rice. I, think. I don't know, it hasn't come yet. I ordered chicken curry, we'll see what happens. I ordered the sambal chicken curry, but they didn't have it, so I just ordered regular chicken. Here she comes with your sambal. Oh, chili, yes. Spicy. They do have sambal. Holy crap, I just saw a huge lizard over here. I wanna show you. Oh, there it is. That thing is huge. Holy smokes. <laughs> you can come right in. Everybody else did, so. It's probably so used to human. Hi. Looking for lunch. Yeah, but you, not, not you though. I have no idea. <laughs> is, it, is it a Komodo? It's definitely not a Komodo, but I, it could be a monitor lizard, but I don't know. We are done and it's about 2.30 right now and we are about to head out for our third final dive of the day. 
this was actually a really nice island. The food was really good here, a little bit expensive, but uh, hey, we didn't have to pay for it. I guess we did as part of our package, but it was really good anyway. And we saw a lizard, which is always good. So let's get back on the boat and go diving. It's only us. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> it's very slimming. I need to wear a wetsuit all the time. Getting ready for our third and final dive in the rock. I think. Not in the rock, but the yeah, dive site the called the rock. Supposedly, there's some black tip reef sharks around here. Never know. All right. All right, Mark, it's it, go. Our third and final dive today. Not really sure what's going on here, but it looks like some sort of a sea urchin conference or something. We loved seeing this school of razorfish. This was the first time that Holoff had ever seen them outside of an aquarium. Our dive master signaled that she saw a big animal. It turned out that it was a really big triggerfish. And there's a smaller one. And now he's swimming away. Another porcupine fish under this coral. And look, a moray eel. They are so pretty. Not much for nudibranchs on this dive. We saw a bunch of eclectic animals, both fishes and corals. And you guessed it, we had a great time during this dive, as always. Unfortunately, Holof's mass started to fog up, but that's okay because it was already time to wrap up our dive for the day. Ew. I thought that was very cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. That was three really good dives. I am so glad we did this. Let's do it again tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Same price? <All> right. <laughs>was a good day. I really, really enjoyed every minute of that, except for maybe the cold, but it was a little bit cold, but... The visibility wasn't that great, unfortunately, but that could be, you know, anywhere, really, but uh, we but still we have a good day. But we saw everything that yeah. we wanted to see, though, because we look for the small stuff, like nudibranchs, and you have to get up close to those anyway, so the yeah. visibility doesn't really matter so much. Nudibranch is definitely my favorite. They just love hunting, uh, seeing around, trying to find them. Yeah, and we saw and razorfish as well. Razorfish, yes. The ones that are up and down, straight up and down. And they, that's kind of disguise themselves as seagrass. Yeah, and that's my first time seeing it in the wild. See a few big animals too, just the sea turtles and uh, oh, I'm eagle so happy ray. I saw that. Yeah, I didn't see the eagle ray. You guys did. Uh, I would definitely come back to Cote de Kinabalu just for the diving. Yeah. Uh, that was absolutely just wonderful. Yeah. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like to follow along with our journey, please ring don't. the bell. Ring the bell. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Terima kasih. Kote Kinabalu.